Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RVing. We are out at the 2024 Florida Super Show, also known as the Tampa RV Show. And behind us, we have the Top Dog, one of the best production motorhomes on the market. It's a 2024 Integra Cornerstone. This is the model 45B. This is the flagship for Integra Coach. There's a lot of really nice things on here but things that we don't like, but we're gonna give you a full tour of this. So let's start right out in front, guys. Of course, if you know Integra, this is a signal right here, right? You see this, that big C LED light, you know there's an Integra coach. And it's a little packed here, so just please bear with us. We can't get a lot of these areas, but you see they have the chrome mirrors up front, and then in those mirrors, these will be heated and you have some lane warning we'll show you over here as you see here is the the sensors for that lane warning now this is on the spartan k3 chassis it's going to produce 600 horsepower on this diesel motor we'll give you full specs as we go along in this video you see the large windshield so here one of the dinks that i don't like that integra coach does is this they have that big molding they still don't do the automotive style where it's very clean i don't like this i don't know why they don't change that there's any integra people out there put it in the comments below if you like this or if you don't like it personally i'm not a fan you see the camera up top it's part of the 360 camera system so when you're inside there's a huge screen you're gonna be able to see all around your coach which is pretty awesome now going down the passenger side double step and if you see here it has the chromed out finish it is a little bit high now granted guys this coach is sitting up really high this does have your regular hydraulic leveling it also has air leveling so this would be sitting a lot lower so we're not going to dink it for that beautiful beautiful full body paint now that's one of the positives that integra does really really well their paint jobs are amazing they always do really good paint it sickens paint you have your base coat clear coat that's not there's no decals there that's all paint and then they changed this last year they went with the integra coach they have the model cornerstone but they don't put the floor plans anymore dual fill guys again we'll give you full specs on the amount of gallons and everything that this holds right up front do like this a lot 365 70 22 and a half 20 000 pound front axles independent front suspension you're going to get a really good ride going down the road. This is a four slide coach. Integra doesn't really do those full wall slides, but you get a lot of room inside. Here's gonna be slide number one, Gerard awnings overhead. You have slide toppers. You see the other Gerard awning in the back and then another Gerard awning cover for the door. Let's continue guys, power doors. Which you're not a fan not of. Not a fan of power doors, but it, you know, it works. There is a lot until it doesn't work that's when you're not it a works fan until of it. it doesn't work <laughs> there is a lot of storage lot of in this unit a ton of storage in this unit and while you're there hon i'm just going to show them the trays you got two power trays these will go both sides you got your easy glide trays you do have a, a refrigerator freezer on here on a manual nice. tray which is yeah that's that's a really nice i don't know if we will get that because it's just taking up a lot of room well, and, think about it though. When we start traveling most time and we have the dogs all the time, they have to carry true. their food. So well, correct, we, yeah. Lifestyle change may require that. Let me we'll show see. you. Yeah, let me show you something inside here. You see the bracing that they put. LED lights, of course, really nice. You see the support that X bracing they do. Spartan K3 chassis. They kind of have to upfit it to put that extra support to carry the weight of this. And again, we'll give you the weight of this coach. It is quite heavy. You see the stainless finish throughout. Let's go into the next one. Here is your MPPT solar controller on here. And then you have all of the breakers. So clearly leveling jacks, house power, battery link, it's all in there. They give you outlets. Now something that Integra does, at least on the cornerstone, they put the house batteries in the center of the coach. So you have really good weight distribution. Also the inverter is kind of tucked up in the center could be an issue if you had a smaller storage area but there's so much space in here like i can lay in there and go to sleep in there if i wanted to. there's plenty of space to work in there mm. don't get Might any ideas now of course this is a four season coach guys it's going to be hydronic heating we'll explain that a little bit later but wherever you go you're going to all your bays are going to be heated your inside is going to be heated so it doesn't matter if you're out in the cold you're going to be just fine in this moving on to the next bay 
This is gonna be your gravity fill for your fresh water. I like that. You'll be able to city fill on the other side, but if some reason that doesn't work, you could always gravity fill on this side. And we've been to campgrounds, believe it or not, where the water is set up in the wrong area. So instead of having to flip the whole coach or run a hose going underneath, you could just gravity fill on that side. Your tag axle, 14,000 pounds, passive tag axle. And then you also have a 20,000 pound rear axle, which is really nice. It's going to give you 20,000 pounds of towing capacity on this unit. Going on to the next two bays on the passenger side, you have your DEF fill. Little dink here, they don't give you a door for it, so you have to open it. And here's your service bay here. Again, more circuits, uh, breakers here, double chassis batteries. You have your air dryer, you kind of service things very easy. And then you have the control if you want to go to the back here. The engine door opens up electronically. I'm not going to open all the way up. I just kind of want you guys to see the engine bay in the back. So if you get in here, side mounted radiator. So with the side mounted radiator, this goes up higher guys, just so you know. Mm -hmm. But with the side mounted radiator, you get a lot of uh, serviceable area. So if you stick the camera in there, you can clearly get at the belts, a lot of area to service. The side mounted radiator is going to be the way you wanna go if you're gonna get a unit like this. Now, 20,000 pound hitch, like I said, you see all the docking lights are on. LED lights in the back, that beautiful integral logo lights up as you go down the road. You do have the rear view camera, part of the 360 camera system. Let's just close this up for you. Like, this is cool. I would just rather, you know, just, just up. Just pop it put, open. Yeah, like, yeah. it's nice. It's just another thing to go wrong, honestly, mm -hmm. in my opinion, but it, it's nice. You're, you're at the top of the food chain here, at least in the production motorhomes, one of the top. And uh, some people want that. Let's continue down the driver's side. Now you have that side mounted radiator. You do lose that storage space. Again, you have your lane detect sensors. You see they have extra gutters with the spouts. Now this also will have gutters on the roof that will have water dripping down the bottom. So you kind of have like the dual gutters here. Here's your DEF fill. So you both have DEF from the driver's side, which makes more sense, but also on the passenger side, and you also have fuel from both sides. Here's another slide that's gonna be in your bedroom. Now, this is a really nice setup. When you see, go inside, you can see how nice it is. Now, everything on here, guys, this is all gonna be powered. There is your SantaCon, there's the, the hose that'll come out through there. Next bay will be the wet bay. Beautiful. Everything's nicely done here. LED light, outside shower, whole house filtration. Here's the controls for the showers. You have your sea level tanks. It tells you the actual percentage. Battery, it tells you the voltage. Black tank, open shut. I like the paper towel holder. Yeah, it is powered. Now, if you open this up and you want to manually dump, you could do that. You don't have to carry a hose with you, it's on a power reel. Everything is set up and then have everything clearly labeled. So if you want to winterize, everything you have to do is right here. And of course, you see the retract, you pull it out and then you have to retract, which is really nice. Put in the comments if you're a fan of the paint job. I love Integra's paint. I'm not a fan of this color, this particular particular yeah. blue color, but. It doesn't, it's not horrible. It's not probably not something we would yeah. get, but I would take it for sure. <laughs> Aqua Hot 450 guys, hydronic heating. Now, if you're new to this and you don't know what that is, this big unit here is responsible for all heating on this motorhome. So that's going to be your house heating very much like a, a baseboard also it's going to heat your water so it's your hot water heater also then you have your power reel so you will pull it out and then it would power retract there's more outlets in there everything leds now these are just continuations the next few bays are continuations of what we showed you on the passenger side you have your dirt devil because of course this has a whole house vacuum system how could you not have that when we tell you the price of this, the retail price? Mm -hmm. Again, so since they put the batteries kind of in the center of the chassis, it does give you a little bit of extra space. And that's actually a lot of space it's right there. It's a lot there. of space. You can fit yeah, a lot yep. in there. A nice uh, folding, one of those telescoping ladders will go in really nicely there. Those and lights then, are nice and bright. You don't really appreciate that now but like when we pulled into the campground a couple nights ago it was super dark you yeah. would appreciate that yep. along with the 360 camera systems now here's your final bay they give you a little netting here 
you have your wires hidden in the back. You also have your uh, front generator slide. So if you want to send it out, this is going to have a 12.5 diesel generator. You also have controls to your levelers. So that's a really nice thing. And they light on and off, which is pretty awesome. So let's get into the specs of this, guys, because I promised I would tell you that. So this is the 45 B. Spartan K3 raised rail chassis has a Cummins 15 liter X15, 605 horsepower. I stand correct, that's at 600 in the first round over here. 605, 1950 foot pounds of torque, has the Allison 4000 motorhome transmission, 210 amp alternator, 1500 watt engine block heater. You have a three stage engine brake on here, 20,000 pounds on the front. Rear, 20,000 pounds on the rear axle. Tag axle is 14,000 pounds. Passive tag axle with one touch manual air dump. Tire pressure monitoring system is standard on here. Does have traction control. You have your leveling you, as far as your equalizer system. And then you also have the valid true air leveling. 50 amp coach, three air conditioners, 54,000 pounds is the gross vehicle weight rating. The gross combined weight rating, 74,000 pounds. Exterior length is 4411, exterior width is 101 inches. The height with AC and satellite is 128, interior height is 84 inches. Freshwater capacity is 100 gallons, gray, 62, black, 41. That's a little disappointing, honestly, mm. 41. And then your fuel tank is 150 gallons. You wanna know the cargo carrying capacity. When you get a big boy like this on a big chassis with a tag, 9,382 mm. Lots pounds. of what? lots and lots of stuff hashtag stuff we do want to thank the official sponsor of this video rvmattress.com by brooklyn bedding who are they they make rv specific mattresses and even if you get a motorhome like this guys the mattresses a lot of times are just not that good we've had ours now for two plus years and they're third, amazing yeah, i think we're in our third year and they sell tons of products too for homes too so if you're part-timer you can get a mattress for home jason has one at home they have weighted blankets cooling pillows all different sheets everything that you can imagine if you're a full-timer you can have this mattress shipped right to your door at your campground they also won good housekeeping's 2023 family travel award for being a top pick for having a big variety of sizes without sacrificing comfort it is extremely comfortable they have all different types of mattresses that have a 120 day sleep guarantee so if you don't like it they usually just tell you give it away and you can yeah, it's a get, trial, get so another. try it out. They have memory foam, coils, a combination of both, and they're headquartered in the USA. They have some of the best mattresses out there, guys, but if you use the discount code, Endless. you'll get 25% off of your purchase of an RV specific mattress. Guys, go read their reviews. Mm -hmm. We haven't had anybody complain about them. They absolutely love their RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. We'll put their link down below, go check it out. All right, let's get inside of this beauty. So as we head in, you have your, I think you mentioned this, your lighted handrail here, but you have steps getting in. I wanna show you this one area here. It's stuck. Oh, I was pulling from the bottom. <laughs> All right, so you got a little drawer here, which is great. You can keep, you know, some shoes in there or whatever, if you like. Coming on up, you have a great handrail here if you have like mobility issues or anything. Coming on in, Right on the right hand side, you're going to have your battery disconnect. The step cover button is there. So you can, once you're seated and you're in the motorhome, bring that step cover out. I'm going to close that door so you can come on in. So you have to put that step cover out, guys. So you have some, some good space there. You're not going to be losing that real estate there. The Integra cockpit is gorgeous and they have upgraded this over the last couple years so izzy was talking about this upside uh, outside so let's talk first oh my gosh these are so comfortable so these seats are extremely comfortable cockpit with the captain and the co-captain's chair they are swivel powered these are heated cooled you see the massage option massage lots Massaging. of massage right so you can drive down the road and be massaged while you're driving. You might fall asleep though, that might be dangerous. So obviously you can turn both of these chairs around to become part of the living area so you get that wide open space. Here's your dash, which is you know new improved over the last couple of years. So you have all your controls here, is your audio, your climate controls, you can control your day and night shades from here, GPS, okay, your radio, everything, your leveling, 
Check this out. So every your main control center is this right, is nice is right, right here. here. You see everything you get your 360 you. camera. Beautiful. You have a little. You could use that as a little trash compartment. Very comfortable. And then here's your dash here. Your Allison transmission. You have a phone charger right here, so you can do that. Cup holder. And then here's some light controls and your battery boost and that sort of thing. You have integrated controls on your steering wheel. It's extremely. I'm getting really comfortable here. And then up above, you have some nice storage space in the cockpit area. That's your AC overrides, okay, and your slide controls and your wine guard. Here's you, you have a little bit of storage there. This, I believe, is a 32 inch uh, TV there. It's a Samsung TV. Some more storage. And then I'm not gonna. Oh, your show you your breakers. fuses and yeah your breakers beautiful nice large windows you get a, a lot of nice uh natural light coming in now let's flip it around i do want to mention something before yeah. you go to the rest of this the cornerstones tradition were only available on the spartan chassis they're now available in 24 on freightliner if people have preference you can get just a cornerstone for now on the freightliner nice, chassis. nice so let's start here so you have a very large couch here these are powered. This does open up into a sleeping area, which is great. We're not going to do that now. Beautiful wall sconces here. Very classy. You have your light controls there for the whole front of the coach. That's your master. And then opposing this couch here, you're going to have a 34 inch Furion fireplace. You do have some nice storage right in here. That's a, that's a large storage container and you container area, not container. And then you have like your, you know, your AV stuff there and beautiful tv with a bose sound bar and you do have areas here you know if you want to put tchotchkes hashtag stuff whatever you like now just to give a reference your height how tall are you so i'm five nine so you, so you can see the ceilings jason is really when we go to good read because yeah. jason our son is six five but yeah you have a lot of space here but you can stand under the slide too. yep pretty, you can so do that as well thing. yep because in ours i bump my head quite frequently so here you have your dinette area you have two chairs here very very comfortable and as you see these are swivel which is really really nice because again a lot of times like on ours you move the chairs and you can kind of we almost weaken the legs yeah. but this just turn and get out That's a nice it's, idea. It, it's great and then you have this buffet style area here where you, so when you're eating you can keep your you know your bowls and things there i like this i like the swivel chairs a lot and then you have under here you can keep certain you know kitchen appliances or whatever smaller things can fit nicely in there i will note that i'm sure some of you have noticed that this slide is carpeted so they still are doing that so keep so tiffin doesn't have carpet right tiffin got rid of it american coach doesn't have carpet new no doesn't have doesn't, carpet right so, so we see when Integra. Yep. So above us suit. is really nice ceiling treatment here. Very, very nice. And moving into the fridge, you have a French door Samsung fridge. Beautiful, beautiful. And then you've got okay, Ooh, nice large freezer. And you have oh, locked. locked. There we go. A lot of space in this baby. Let me lock these up again. All right. And then you uh, have over here a very spacious countertop. So you've got this wide area, but also, and this is wide too. So you have the extra pullout space here. You can see, and oh, so large. So you have all this extra counter space and you get the storage space as well That's with nice. it. A little cutting board here. Really, really nice. I do want to make a note, guys, just so you know, these are not soft clothes and there are is not dovetailed. So just keep that in mind if that's something that is important to you. Moving on down, beautiful Blanco sink here. Residential faucet with a pull down sprayer. Little water there. And then you have like these little metal pull out areas. We can put your dishes and things. Your, Are you kidding me? I'm gonna, actually gonna do this. I've never this counted. Two, four, six, eight, <laughs> 10, 12, 14. 14 remotes. That's ridiculous. You like that? <laughs> All right, then you got a Furion. So you have Furion appliances in it. We do have the that, Samsung. That's a, I, I'm not hot on that. Not on a high on end what? like this. On, on the Furion. Fu yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Not on the Quarterstone. Definitely some corners have been cut a little, I think. That's kind of cool. 
I mean, but it's, you know, it's looks. So you got the Furion microwave there. You have a Furion induction countertop, two burners. You're going to get some little spice areas. This is going to be on both sides. So you have that little storage area there. I just want to, I don't know what this is here. Why that's even visible, but I just show that. Yep. And then nice picture window there overlooking your uh, passenger side. So it's really nice. You do have some drawers here. Okay, there you put your sponge, area for oh, a garbage can, which is always nice. That's a decent size too. And then you have a dishwasher, which is great. More counter space, again, for a Keurig or an Instant Pot or anything you want to keep there. You have a built-in silverware tray, wooden, which is nice. And then more drawers here. Okay, so you can see, yeah, they're not so close. I'm, I'm surprised at that. I'm, I'm really surprised. Here's your Firefly where you're going to have your main control panel. You can control your lights, see your tanks, all, all that. HVAC, everything is right here. Here's going to be your, your little dustpan area. Moving on into the half bath. This is a one and a half bath coach. This is a spacious, spacious half bath. You got a huge medicine cabinet here. Nice, nice sink, a bunch of drawers. So again, if it's just two of you and you know you have that whole bathroom in the back and plenty of storage in here, you have a lot of room to keep all your, your stuff. All right, a lot of you may be thinking, what is in here? Pantry. Let's show you, yes, where's the pantry? Here pantry. it is. I like this, it's not those narrow mm -hmm. kind of drawers. You have wide and deep drawers here and it lights up, which is nice upon opening it. Tons of, of drawers there. You have your thermistors here, and then we're going to move into the bedroom. Beautiful door. So that'll give you your privacy if you have any guests staying with you. And then you're going to have two wardrobes. Not really wardrobes, they're shelves, but this is adjustable shelving. And you have that on both sides. A bunch of drawers here, a little area here that you can keep tchotchkes. Each room does have its own master light controls. So here's the one for the master bedroom. You do have 110 outlets there. Another area here with adjustable shelving and some more drawers. And then moving over to the king size bed, if they used a tilt to bed, you know how big this bedroom would really seem, Yeah. right? Because this has, there's a lot of room in here. Large king size bed, and then you're gonna have three you've got the struts there to hold these open which is nice full all the way back you have an outlet 110 outlet back there no divide dividers on these so you have the full area to keep your things and then on each side guys you have a little nightstand with 110 outlets and a little area just to keep little you know if you have your glasses or anything at night you want to keep in there then moving into the master bath. There is a step to get up here. I like when they do it and it's flat so you don't trip at night. Yeah, like where a bus has that yeah. and it's all flat. Yeah, it's nice. So you have your double sinks here, which is great. You have like this penny looking backsplash. That's interesting. Large and in charge medicine cabinets. So if you take a lot of medicines, that's good for you. Now let's hop over to the shower and then I'll show you this. So you do have this is a longer shower. You have the bench that pulls down, all right? You do have the shower miser here again, so you can get that water warm and running before you actually turn the water on, which is great. A nice skylight here, it's really tall. Jason would fit in here, no problem. And then a lot of drawers here all around, okay? All different sizes, little whatever you wanna keep in there, cleaning, so a ton, a ton of these. And then your toilet is over here. Porcelain toilet, beautiful. Push of a button, your poop goes bye-bye. Then you have your Splendid, I'm sorry, Whirlpool. Whirlpool washer and dryer. So they didn't go with the Splendid for this. So that's nice and hidden with your wood door. And then you have a closet here that will light up when upon opening it. Shelf up top, lighted bar that you can hang all your clothes, put, place your shoes on the bottom. So a good amount of space there. So we're gonna give you the MSRP of this unit. Couple of things I noticed now, these motorhomes are changing to try to update them every year. So obviously the competition for this would be either a Legro bus with the 600 horsepower option, a Zephyr, a London Air, mm -hmm. 
what do you think of it? Put it in the comments below, guys. I, I got to be honest. I, I don't know. Like this is this is very expensive, and it's missing a lot of features that you would see on the competition. There's for sure. corners being cut that we haven't seen in previous shows. Like I said, on a motorhome that costs as much as we're about to tell you, to not have soft closed drawers and dovetail on those drawers, it's kind of mind blowing to me. I I really don't know why that's Furion changed. appliances now. If you're on appliances, and we, th this is like the first day we're here. It's the show hasn't even started yet. I'm really curious to see some of the other high end because I know the Tiff and Zephyr at the Hershey show also did not have dovetail. And so, like, I, I want to see these higher end. I'm just curious as to why they're changing these There's things. There's still carpet on the slides, but we just came out of a Allegro bus and they've actually improved. Mm -hmm. So, we've seen the Allegro bus as far as what they're offering has gotten better. We haven't seen that with Integra. So yeah. it's just what it is. Yeah. Put in the comments below, guys, what you think. We're going to give you the MSR MSRP right now. The MSRP is $926,363. prices have gone up. The Integras do get discounted up more than like a Numar. For sure, you can get these 38 40% if you catch them at the right, right time. You can get big discounts on these. Put in the comments below, guys, what do you think at this price range, what would be your choice? Not used, no, because somebody mm -hmm. doesn't say used Prevo. I get right. it, but that's used. <laughs> new, what would be your choice in this price range? If you like videos like this, guys, to the left of us, we'll put our RV Tours playlist, we'll put our RV Newbies playlist, and for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you on, on the, the road. road.